Hello, everyone. My name is Mosul Fikar, and welcome to Income Investors. Today with me is John Whitefoot. Um, but before we go into any details, understand that anything you hear in these videos are just for information and educational purposes only. Investments come with risk. To learn more about investment risks, uh, please see the comments below. The financial crisis of 2008 and 2009 was something very interesting to me. I, I saw it play out in front of my eyes. And while being at the trading floor of a, of, of a trading firm, um, I saw that when investors panic, they sell anything and everything in sight. They don't uh, just think twice. They just want to get out and sit on the sidelines or raise cash or whatever their intentions are. But in during that time, or in that time, it's, it's one of the best times you can go out and buy the greatest opportunities. Uh, in fact, it wouldn't be wrong saying that you find opportunities of lifetime during those times when everyone is panicking. Um, investors like Warren Buffett and Sir John Templeton have talked about this very basic phenomenon that when everybody's panicking, you got to look. Um, with this in mind, we'll be talking about Trinity Capital. And um, it's John writes us as uh, bad things happening to a good stock. Um, it, they are a business development company um, that give loan to growth stage companies. But now we can go into details into what uh, Trinity Capital does. Hey, John. Um, if you want to go and uh, go ahead and explain a little bit about what Trinity Capital does, um, about their investments and about their exits and so on and so forth. Yeah, thanks, Mo. Uh, Trinity Capital, they've been around since 2021. Uh, oh, sorry, they went public in 2021, but they've been around for about 15 years and they have a really successful track record of serving the multi-billion dollar underserved specialized niche markets. Since its inception in January 2008, they've made 284 investments and 159 exits. Uh, some of the current companies that it's invested in are, and maybe you've heard of them, Impossible Foods, Axion Space, and Grub Market. Uh, on the sales side, uh, they were early investors in Lucid Group, which is the automotive company, and Matterport, which is sort of a um, metaverse, early metaverse type of company. Uh, and back in 20, February, 2022, they sold both interest in both companies for around 60 million. So that's there. Yeah. Right. And, um, and interesting, um, interestingly enough, I guess you can say uh, when Silicon Valley uh, bank went under um, investors panicked and sold Trinity capital stock. That was interesting. And you know, was, as I was talking earlier, this is a prime example of, of, you know, people panicking and selling everything and anything in sight. In fact, you even called it a no-brainer stock. It was this knee-jerk reaction from investors that anything related to banking, yeah. uh, they just dumped, which to me shows either that investors didn't really know what they had with Trinity Capital because the company was a no-brainer. Like it had nothing to do with the Silicon Valley chaos. Uh, Trinity Capital came out with a press release or something while the chaos was ensuing, saying neither Trinity nor its customers or clients have any exposure to SVB Bank. Bank. Yeah, and but people are still panicked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So sort of like people knew what they had. They're like, yeah, no, still yeah. not good enough. But yeah, if you look at that, like everything that they had going for them, and people still dump them. So they have a rock solid balance sheet. Right. Uh, they reported a year of exceptional, quoting the CEO, growth uh, for the full year. Total investment income increased 77% to $145 million. Net investment income climbed 83% to $71.6 million, or two twenty-six dollars per share. Uh, it's raised its ultra-high yield dividend for nine consecutive quarters. And just days before the Silicon Valley collapse, analysts at UBS adjusted its price target on Trinity Capital to 16 from 13 and earlier in the month, uh, analysts at B. Riley Financial lifted their price target to 14 per share from 13 after Trinity reported better than expected fourth quarter earnings. At that, before the sell-off, that pointed to potential upgrade upside of 15 to 40%. So yeah. everything was rosy for Trinity Capital. And then SVB happened and Everyone the stock crashed 20%. <laughs> right. And um, now let's dig a little bit into... Uh, 
about their dividends. Uh, I know there are heavy hitters when it comes to dividends. So if you're going to elaborate a little bit. They have an outstanding financial performance. Uh, it's been able to increase its uh, dividend for nine consecutive quarters. Uh, most recently in the middle of March, it increased its cash dividend to 47 cents per share or $1.88 on an annual basis for a yield of 14.46%, which is more than twice uh, the inflation rate. To maintain their status sort of as a BDC, uh, they'll pay supplemental dividends to ensure that they distribute all of their annual taxable income. So if you if you look at their chart, you can see dips in the dividend section. And that's sort of where they pay supplemental or special dividends throughout the year. And and obviously, as their business improves and if they exit, uh, you know, your chances of getting higher income increases. Oh, yeah, they definitely pass on the rewards of their, you know, of their investments onto the shareholders. So this past year, they had a spillover uh, of a dollar seventy three per share. So that points to potential of more special dividends and dividend increases in uh, 2023. That's that's very good to know, John. Uh, again, Trinity. Uh, Capital, they have a strong balance sheet, growing portfolio, and they didn't really have anything to do with Silicon Valley Bank. Um, their stock went down and went back up again. So yeah, thank you, John, for um, talking about this uh, unique stock. Our viewers, uh, thank you for watching. If you want to know uh, more about John's analysis, you could go to IncomeInvestors.com. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and we'll see you soon.